following one of the most furious debates in British parliamentary history, an attempt by the Speaker of the House to restore some dignity to politics. Order. Yesterday, the House did itself no credit. There was an atmosphere in the chamber worse than any I've known in my 22 years in the House. On both sides, passions were inflamed, angry words were uttered, the culture was toxic. The role of the Prime Minister is to unite the country. There are calls for Boris Johnson to apologise after he dismissed pleas from lawmakers to tone down his divisive language and said the best way to honour the memory of murdered MP Joe Cox was to get Brexit done. Cox, who backed Remain in the EU referendum, was killed by a far-right sympathiser. But there was no apology, fueling concern that this is part of the Prime Minister's plan to pit the people against Parliament over Brexit. The use of language yesterday and over the past few weeks, such as the surrender bill, such as invoking the war, such as talking about betrayal and treachery, it has clearly been tested and workshopped and worked up, and it is entirely designed to inflame hatred and division. Only hours after her statement, the offices of MP Jess Phillips were attacked by a man calling her a fascist. Meanwhile, in Brussels, the European Parliament Brexit Steering Group met to discuss the current state of play, insisting they're still waiting for the UK to put forward a workable alternative Brexit deal. He's not seeking a solution, because a solution would mean first finding compromise with the European Union, then building compromise in Westminster to pass an agreement. So maybe strategy is another one, and I believe it has been all along, is to provoke no deal Brexit. On Friday, the UK's Brexit minister will join the table for more talks. So the no's have it, the no's have it. Unlock! Back in Parliament, lawmakers voted down the government's request for a recess, throwing next week's Conservative Party conference schedule into disarray. This is now a parliament of point scoring, where trust has broken down and only consensus can bring it back. But there's no indication that is the Prime Minister's plan, with just five weeks to go before the UK is due to crash out with no deal unless an extension is secured or a deal passed. Charlie Angela Al Jazeera, London.